Thank you for taking the time to watch my talk. I'm very happy to be able to talk at PyCon. My title is Automate the Boring Stuff with Swagbot. Today, I will talk about background motivation for Slackbot, how to create simple bot, how to create interactive bot, and how to exit bot using libraries and APIs. I'm happy to give you feedback on Twitter. Uh, hashtag is SharpyCon2020. My Twitter is at Takanori. Before the main topic, I will introduce myself. Uh, I'm Takanori Suzuki. Please call me Takanori. My Twitter is Takanori. Please follow me. I'm Vice Chairperson of PyCon JP Association. And last year, I was challenged to talk or poster at Python conference around the world, which I called the PyCon tour. I presented at nine conferences on the tour, mostly in Asia. Now, this talk could be the final point of the tour, so I'm deeply moved. Now, let's get back to the main topic. First, I will talk about the background and motivation of this talk. I held a PyCon JP event several years in the past. As you can imagine, lots of tasks to hold the conference. For example, talk management and ticket sales and venue management and uh, uh, food and coffee, snacks and beers. beer is important for me. And the number of PyCon JP stuff is 40 over. Half of them are the new stuff. New stuff asks similar things to me, and I send similar answers repeatedly on, on chat. But programmer is lazy. As you know, programmers dislike routine work. I also dislike it very much. I want someone to do my bundles of tasks instead of me like a secretary. Okay, let's make it, because I'm a programmer. The goal of this talk, you learn how to create simple bot and how to extend it, how to create interactive bot and how to extend it bot using powerful libraries and APIs through various case studies. Then, you'll be able to automate your boring stuff with Slackbot. Why Slackbot? My secretary is chatbot for Slack. Do you know Slack? Slack is instant message platform, messaging platform. And I have Slack running all the time on my PC and smartphone. This makes it's easy to access Slack. I want to do everything in Slack. Let's make a chatbot for Slack. First, I will explain simple integration with incoming webhooks. This is system overview. When programs send a message to a webhook URL via HTTPS, the message will send to Slack, how Slack, and something. First, we want to create incoming webhook integration. How to generate webhook URL is as follows. Generate webhook URL. Step one, create a Slack application. Step two, enable incoming webhooks in the application. Step three, create an incoming webhooks. Then, we get webhook URL similar, like this. Uh, create a new application, create application, then uh, set up icon. Uh, this is my peer bot, and enable webhook, and enable webhook, 
and create a webhook in your workspace. At last, we got a webhook URL. OK, we have a webhook URL. Let's send a message to Slack with it. We send a simple message with call. When we send a message with JSON, the message will be displayed in Slack. It's easy. But we are Python system. We use urlib.request module. Make JSON and send this JSON to your webhook URL, then we get message. If you like requests, it's more easy. URL and data and this post, then we get message. And we can send complex messages like this with message attachments. This is message attachment is a Slack format. And this data and fields then get this complex message. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to my talk. Please give me feedback about this talk. I love ferrets, Pio, Lego, and I'm from Japan. If you need more complex message, you can use Blockit. Blockit is a new UI new framework on Slack. And Blockit Builder is interactive prototype builder. This is Blockit Builder. Uh, you can choose some component and drag and drop this field. Then you get the Blockit JSON. OK, this is sample code for Blockit. Uh, this uh, with URL and base information, then I create block it data, title, and divider, and or place infos. Then we send this block it. This is result of the block it. Hmm. Nice message. The uh, memories from PyCon 2019. Summary of incoming webhooks. Uh, easy to send message from programs and create complex message with attachments and uh, block it. But simple integration is one way only program to webhook to Slack. I want to interactive with bot. Next, I will explain how to create interactive bot with Slack bot library. This is system overview. When I say the hi message to Slack and the bot get Slack message and Slack bot respond, hi, I am, I am Slack bot. This is interactive. I'll describe how to create interactive bot. At first, we create bot users on Slack. Uh, step one, create a Slack application. Step two, enable bots. Step three, add a bot user. Step four, install application to workspace, then authorize. Uh, as a result, we get bot user OS token, OS access token. This exos xp blah blah blah. Then at last, invite bot users to several Slack channels. Uh, enable bots in your application, and add a bot user, add a bot user, and we install application in your workspace. We get the access token. At last, invite bot to channels. Then. I will create my bot program with, with Slackbot library. Slackbot is a chatbot framework for Python. You can use uh, Slackbot pip install Slackbot. Uh, I make VM, VM and install Slackbot library for my bot project. Then I make simplest Slackbot with only four files. 
uh, create a simple bot with Slack bot. First, Slack bot settings.py. This API token is a bot auth access token and the plugin package name. And uh, we create one.py. One.py is the main program for Slack bot. It's full of one of by, so simple. And we create a simple plugin. Plugin is a package. Uh, we create the underscore, underscore, underscore init.py for package. And I create a sample.py file for simple plugin. This plugin uh, got high, then sent. Hi, I am via bot. This is file structure, only four files, so simple. Then, let's run the Slack bot, python1.py, and I send hi, be a bot send, hi, I am be a bot. I guess you understood the basic way to make Slack bot, so we will extend it. Extend the Slack bot. Decorator. Listen to as code when a message matching the pattern is sent on the channel. Respond to is sent to the bot. Hi is listen to and she has a respond to. Respond to activate only mention. I send hi, be a bot send hi and be a bot. I send cheers. But Beabot not activated. But I send mention at Beabot shares, Beabot respond to cheers. The cheers message only works with mention. Uh, if bot mentioned to several users, you can use message.reply method. Uh, bot send message.reply, Beabot mentioned to me. Message reaction, oh, sorry, emoji reaction with message.react method. If bot get via message, bot send, bot react via emoji. I want to drink craft beer in Pittsburgh and via message. And Slack bot can handle parameters. We use regular expressions or parentheses. It is passed as parameter values. This is choice command. When I send choice pizza via sushi and was is pizza space via space sushi and split and random choice. And I send via bot choice pizza ramen sushi. I choose sushi. Via bot. Hmm. Uh, be a bot can handle uh, parameters with regular expressions. This is next example. I send number, some numbers with beers, be able to react uh, via icon. I send 100 beers, be a bot respond 100 via emoji. Uh, Slackbot has several settings with Slackbot settings.py. Alias says equal important uh, settings. If, if I set alias is equal to uh, prefix, this prefix instead of mention, at my bot ping equal data ping. I, I say data choice beer, wine sake, I choose beer. This, uh, Choice command, this is more command like. Uh, Slack bot can use attachment. If you if you want to use attachments, you can create attachment date and JSON dumps. Uh, the uh, Slack bot can use use uh block it, block it JSON. A summary of Slackbot. We can communicate with Slackbot. 
Slackbot can handle parameters in messages with regular expression. Slackbot can send messages in various formats. I think you understood Slackbot can do various things. Next, case studies. I will show you some case studies combining Python libraries and APIs with Slackbot. Case study one, calculate a function using SymPy. Motivation. I feel heavy to call a calculator application on my smartphone. It seems useful if Slack has a calculator for me. SymPy. SymPy is a Python library for symbolic mathematics. Uh, if you, uh, I can use uh, pip install SymPy. This is calculator function, calculator.py, calculator command. Uh, this calc.py listen to formula like pattern. Then if uh, it's what get formula like pattern and simply feed the formula and convert integer value or float value and respond to this message. This is result. I send one plus one and two. I send uh, two squared plus 11 squared and 12 squared. We are about to respond, say 165. Hmm. It's nice. It's nice for me. Case study two. Plus plus function using PV or R mapper. Motivation. In PyCon JP stuffs, I want to make a culture that appreciates each other stuff. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your helping. And PeeWee. PeeWee is a small and sim simple and small OR mapper. A small expressive OR mapper. And PeeWee supports SQLite, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. This is plus plus model. Uh, plus, mo plus model had uh, two fields, name and counter. Counter is a uh, thank you for and count counting, thanks counting. And this is plus plus dot py command. Uh, if the bot get some words plus plus and get count and increments and save and send. Thank you, brother. Thank you, name and counter. This is the result. I send stuff plus plus stuff count one, stuff plus plus stuff count two, and we are plus plus beyond count one. Hmm, nice. Next case study display Jira issue and such issues. Motivation. Jira is useful. Uh, PyCon JP use uh, PyCon JP stuff use uh, Jira for task management. Jira is uh, issue management system like uh, um, Wetmine, Asana, or GitHub issues. And Jira is very useful, but Jira web is very heavy. I want to check issue details with the Jira web. Jira web. This is system overview. The user said get issue and such issues command, Slack bot get issue information or such issue information from with the Jira West API. Uh, Jira, Python Jira is a Python library to work with Jira APIs. This is authentication and get issue object as jira.issue and issue ID, then get issue information. This is result. I send issue1484 is a issue ID, then get issue information. Such issues, uh, I send some keywords and then bot search the Jira with jQuery. jQuery is a Jira query language. This is the result. 
I said the algebra Python APAC, then general response, some issues related the uh, Python APAC keyword. Next case study. Create multiple issues from a template. Motivation. Uh, PyCon JP held a PyCamp event uh, for all over Japan, and each, uh, maybe next every month, and each PyCamp event uh, required uh, 20 plus issues. And before this bot, I copying issues by hand uh, each, each PyCamp event. This is so painful task for me. And the Jira web is very heavy, you know? This is system overview. Uh, user send uh, create issues command and Slack bot uh, issue template information from Google Seeds with Seeds API. Uh, 20 plus information get then Slackbot create issue with Jira REST API. Create, 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 create. create. Before this uh, API, this uh, command, uh, we want to create a Google authorization, but Google authorization is complex for me. First, first Google create Google Cloud Platform project and enable APIs this is in this case Google Sheets API and then download credential.json file. Next, install Google Client Library. People install Google API Python Client and Google also all those three. And next, download a quick start.py on from GitHub, uh, Google's Git, Google's authentication GitHub. One, quickstart.py and select your Google account in web browser. Click the access, accept button. At last, we get the token.pickle file. This token.pickle file it, it is, is important information for authorization. Uh, this code is uh, how to get the spreadsheet date. Uh, we create the seeds API, then get Google Seeds information. And this is create Jira issue with uh, Jira, Python Jira. I create issue information like dict and Jira dot create issue. This is a sample of template command that a PyCamp create Command is create issues for PyCamp 1, PyCamp event. Uh, the user send the, Py, the PyCamp create the place and target the date and those stuff names. They both create parent issue and uh, ch children issues. At last, both send a parent issue URL. This is sample of template. A category and assignee and due date. Due date is a date delta from uh, target date. And the summary is a title of issue and the description is a description of issue. And as you can see, I can create many tickets for PyCap is one command. This is parent ticket and this is children tickets. I am very happy. Source code of PyCamp command is here. I never have to copy issues by again, issues again. Yeah. First case study is account management of G Suite. Motivation. PyCon JP use PyCon.jp domain with G Suite. I only use Google Admin Web occasionally. I forgot to use Admin screen for create a new staff account and 
add equal email address to add to group. This is system overview. User send gadmin command to Slack bot. Slack bot uh, handle this command on admin API to G Suite. But uh, if we use the new API, this gadmin G Suite API, we need to re-authenticate the Google authorization. Update Google Cloud Platform project, add G Suite admin API, and re-download credentials.json. And we run quickstat.py, get new talk, then get new token.py file. OK. This is a get user list. Uh, I create the uh, admin API and service that users list execute, then get all user list. This is insert user. Body is a user information and the users.insert, then create a user on G Suite. Suspend, suspend user and resume user and delete user. Uh, this is a whole gadmin command. gadmin command have the several subcommands. This is user management, user insert, delete, reset, and AWS management, and group management, and group member management. This is sample result of the of gadmin command. gadmin user list is a user email address list. And gadmin group list, whole group mail address, and gadmin member list of some several uh, group. Hmm. I can completely forget Google admin. This is source code of gadmin command. Uh, summary of this talk. Uh, you learned how to create simple bot with incoming webhooks, how to create interactive bot with Slack bot, how to extend Slack bot with library and APIs. Next step, let's make your own bot. And let's use library and APIs in your bot. Then, automate your boring stuff with Slackbot. So you will have more free time. You can do more creative things. Thank you for very much. See you next two years in Pittsburgh. This is trans command on Slackbot. This is trans command code where it's Google trans. Thank you very much.